Hey guys, how are you today? My name is Andrew and I'm with GC Termite Control. Today I'm here to talk to you about repellent and non-repellent chemicals. So what does that exactly mean? In pest control and in chemicals in general, there's going to be two main types of pesticides that are used. The repellent chemical, it's a chemical that interferes with the pheromones of the pests uh, and that way it breaks their their chain pretty much. They, it disturbs them and they don't know where to go. Secondly, it's a pesticide that it's going to kill usually on contact. So it's going to be the fastest way of exterminating whatever problem is in there. On the other hand, a non-repellent pesticide that's going to be one that, you know, the, the pests, they're not going to smell it, they're not going to sense it, they're not going to know what's going on, they're going to continue on with their regular lives. But the nice, the nice thing about those chemicals is that the pests, you know, they go through the area, they grab the chemical, and then they go back to the colony and spread it and spread the pesticide, usually by the way of uh, when they touch each other, they, they pass the chemical along. So this is really helpful in cases where you have termites, for example, or ants, uh, where, you know, usually what you're seeing is not the problem and, you know, the colony is usually somewhere else. So that way it gives them time to grab the chemical, take it back to the colony, spread it out, and then, you know, ex exterminate the, the, the entire problem instead of just what you're seeing. Uh, the downside to this type of treatment though is that it takes um, some time for it to work. Usually you're not going to see effects right away. It's going to be between one and three months depending on the pest and the pesticide that you're using. Uh, but yeah, you know, so if you are looking for something to work right away, uh, this is probably not the way to go. But again, you know, for a lot of pests, for for example, termites being one of them, uh, this is really the solution you want to use because if not, uh, you're going to get into a little bit more of a problem instead of, you know, what you just have right now. Why is that? Uh, for the repellent chemicals, one of the downsides to it is that once you spray it, you know, the, the pests are going to know that the chemical is there. So if you have termites, for example, or if you have ants, you know, they're not going to be, you're going to scare them away. They're going to go into another area of the property. So instead of, you know, really exterminating the problem, you're just pushing it away. And a lot of the times that's not good because, for example, if you have it on the eaves inside of the house, you don't want them to go into the framing of the property or into the attic where, you know, they're gonna cause problems and you're not gonna really see them until it's too late so again just to summarize a repellent pesticide it's gonna be one that it's gonna be sensed by the target pest and that it's gonna usually kill on contact versus a non-repellent pesticide it's gonna be one that it's not sensed or smelled by the pest and it usually it takes a little longer to uh, exterminate it. Usually that's gonna be between one and three months. Uh, so yep, there it is. If you have any questions, please do leave them on the comment section below. And if you like the video, do subscribe by clicking on the button below. So that way you can see our next videos as well. Okay, thank you. Have a great day.